Hey, welcome to this video. So this is the first video of the of a of, the, of a fresh new tutorial series uh, that is to create an expense manager app uh, using Angular, Node.js, and MySQL. So we'll be creating uh, an app for recording our expenses. So we'll be able to see like how much amount of our like our how much portion of our income or salary we are spending on what all things. So uh, gradually, or like eventually, as we move forward with the tutorial, we'll be adding a couple of more features. This app will be having a UI created using Angular, and uh, for interacting with the backend and all, we'll be creating an API uh, using Node Express framework, and the database that we'll be using for saving the data will be MySQL. In this video, uh, we'll be setting up our, our project setup. So I'll create. Uh, I'll start by creating a folder for a project. Uh, let's name it Expense Manager. Now, once you have this folder, uh, move, navigate this folder and create an app uh, called NGNU uh, App UI. This will create uh, an Angular project. Uh, with the name app UI. So it's asking whether you would like to add Angular routing, yes. We'll be using CSS. Once the app has been created, you can navigate to the app. See the app UI. You can start it using npm start. Once you have the Angular app running, you go to the photo double zero port and you should be able to see the Angular app there. Since you have the Angular app up and running, um, let's create another folder uh, inside the Excellence Manager folder. So I'll just go back. So here I have my Angular app. I also create a folder called uh, App API. Now this uh, will be the API project folder. So now once I'm inside the app API folder, I'll create an npm project using npm init. I'll give the default values, uh, descriptions are uh, API is for expense manager. Okay, now give the default for all these things uh, and And to see inside the folder, you should be able to see that there's a package.json file here. Uh, now, now let's now we'll be using uh, Express Framework uh, for our for our for creating the REST API. So you need to install that thing using uh, npm install express minus minus save. That installs Express Framework uh, and also saves that uh, saves that entry inside your package.json file. Once you have uh, Express and all installed, let's go to, go to the Express uh, website and I'll just pick up some default code or like some boilerplate code. I'll just copy paste this code inside our app. Let's create a file called uh, app.js. This will be our API root file. I'll paste this code in here. I'll save it and I'll simply do node app.js now this should run the application at this particular port port 3000 what we are doing in here is like we are uh, importing the express framework and uh, we are creating an endpoint now when and we are listening the application on 3000 port so when 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 a request come to this particular slash endpoint hello world is uh, send us a response so now if you go here and enter 3000 you should be able to see uh, the API returning hello world so now we have uh, the angular app running the node express API running and for mysql uh, you need to go to the mysql.com website uh, go to downloads and you can download the uh, community version of mysql there uh, mysql community downloads uh, to access the uh, MySQL DB uh, using a front-end UI, you can also install MySQL Workbench. I'm also already having it here. So using uh, MySQL Workbench, you'll be able to get a visual uh, view of your database. 
So uh, that's all for this video. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comment sections. Thanks for watching.